Lara has found uh, one of the Norse underworlds of Niflheim here. Since this uh, ruin was abandoned, uh, Kraken has taken up residence, and this this thing is enormous, and its tentacles spread throughout this complex. So it's far too big for her to do anything about directly with guns or grenades or whatnot. So she has to deal with it by moving the environment around, uh, not the not the Kraken itself. But this uh, ruin complex here doesn't have single play paths. It's it's multiply connected with all kinds of climbing and exploration. Uh, we're going through one route of many. There are multiple floors to this place, uh, multiple secret cubbies, uh, and different angles on being able to see how the Kraken has uh, invaded the space and has uh, got a tight grip on different elements that you need to be able to manipulate. In the background, behind the Kraken, is actually uh, the door leading to the next space, and it's got its tentacle wrapped around to keep it shut tight. So we're going to have to lower the sun sphere onto it to uh, to get it to release that. So this section here is an adrenaline moment. What happens is something very sudden happens. Kraken's going to smash the ground underneath you, and you get a moment of slow time to figure out what you're going to do about an escape, but you still have full control. It's not a press the right button at the right time. You have to decide what to do and do it. So this sun sphere is actually trapped with these bridge sections, so the only way to lower it down is to remove these bridge sections, and that's uh, what we're going to go start doing here. But uh, what this represents is the first of many large exploration-based puzzles that are the heart of the game, where you have uh, big mechanisms, big problems that actually have multiple puzzles that uh, are interconnected, and uh, you need to solve these puzzles in whatever order makes sense or is logical or, or whatever your interest is to progress. Um, but even though you're solving multiple puzzles, they're all adding up to a single large outcome. But the Kraken really isn't a boss. It's, uh, it's just part of a larger hostile environment. One of the things we really tried to do was to uh, not have different types of gameplay all segmented out. That People ask how much is puzzle, how much is combat, how much is exploration. Well, pretty much everything we're seeing right now is some combination of those elements. The entire time Lars in this space, she's essentially solving a large multi-stage puzzle and avoiding the uh, the threat of the tentacles when they come and uh, exploring the space to find different ways to uh, get to where she wants to go and get to the mechanism parts she needs to find. Coming up is another one of these adrenaline moments. The tentacle is going to bring down this column, and you'll get a camera and some adrenaline-fueled slow time to figure out what to do about it. 